This is the third video in the inventory series, and in this one we're going to talk about inventory control. I'm going to direct your attention first to the IC item maintenance lookup. And if you click find now here, you see your item number, description, location ID, and then you see your stock on hand for each item. And next to the stock on hand, you have a column that says reserved. That column shows you how many units of that stock on hand are currently reserved to live work orders. If you decide you need to unreserve one of these, you can use the unreserved item lookup. Also under the inventory menu list, right here. Any parts currently reserved will be in this list. If you select one, you have the opportunity to unreserve it. You'll get a warning telling you to make sure you notify the appropriate personnel. That will, what will happen there is the IC status will change on that work order. And that part that was showing as reserved will no longer show as reserved. The overall stock on hand will stay the same. Now, back in the IC item maintenance finder, you can see a pick cost and the total cost of all the units on hand. If you select an item to edit it, you'll see there's not a whole lot to be done here because the stock on hand is going to track based on receipts and things like that. But there's a few things. You have a notes field here for comments and memos. These fields down here are designed to be used with the inventory reorder report. You can put in a reorder minimum, reorder maximum, and a reorder quantity. You can use the bin field to name a very specific location where the part would be stocked. And you may be wondering about this inventory status over here, this permanent versus temporary dichotomy, and what that behavioral difference is. I see items marked as temporary will be deleted if their stock on hand is zero for over a calendar month. And the last thing I want to show you here is this assigned to orders. You should very rarely be compelled to, to come here and use this. What it is is a way to assign stock on hand to an active order that requires this part. The vast majority of time, the part will be allocated as it's received or sourced directly from the order itself. Now let's look at another tool for maintaining inventory. The manual receipt entry is an alternative to the purchase order entry. It does many of the same things, but you select a part and a vendor. You put your quantity to receive cost per unit. You can even reference a PO number and you have a couple of other reference options here like reference number, shipper number. You can put notes but you add the item to the receipt and you can add multiple line items to one receipt and it's finalized once you save the receipts batch. If you have multiple branches or multiple IC locations within a branch you can transfer items between them using the transfer stock. You pick which location it's going from where it's going to, item number, quantity to transfer, and then you post. The standard stock adjustment tool is what you'll want to use to correct or adjust the number of units of a particular item or items. Enter the number of units to adjust by, or you can enter the new stock on hand. Either way, the other field will adjust accordingly. And you put a cost, and again you have reference, you have a reason. This list of adjustment reasons is maintained under the lists menu. You can add notes about this adjustment. Click add line item, and you can add more line items to this too and adjust more than one item at once. And when you're ready, you save the adjustments batch, and that will post the adjustments. The last thing I want to cover in this particular video is the IC location maintenance. If you need to add or edit an IC location, uh, this is where you'll do it. You'll automatically have one per branch, so you'll, you'll only be coming here to edit what the location is called or adding a second location to a branch. The next video will show you how to use the physical inventory feature, which is the only item in this list I did not cover here.